Gospel goodies. Gospel goodies. This is gospel goodies. Man, you know, I am a producer slash songwriter, and one of my good friends at RCA said, listen, man, we've been listening to some of your stuff, some stuff you've been sending for other artists, and we would love for you to be able to tell your story through music, you know, without helping others interpret it. And I thought it was a great privilege and an honor for someone to kind of see that in me when I didn't propel in that direction. Makes sense. So, you know, I'm honored, man, and I got a lot to say. And we're going to say a whole lot of stuff. We got some good stuff, man, some stuff for everybody, some church stuff, some not church stuff, and it's all gospel stuff, but it just ain't for one particular space. So, man, we're going to have fun. It's going to be good. We're going to be shouting, cripping, all that other kind of, I don't know, man. We're just going to do something. We're going to have fun. My favorite right now is a single that we're about to start sending on the radio. Um, it's called Source, and it's basically um, just reminding people of what their true, uh, where their true power comes from and who has the power there. We are earthen vessels, and within us is hidden a treasure. The treasure is God, and this is love. And when we understand that the source is nothing that we need to go look for, the source is within us. Um, I think people need to be reminded of that because a lot is going on in the world, a lot of things are happening, um, Black Lives Matter and all the other kind of stuff and just, just incredible situations are going on in the world and we need to look inside. I know we're all looking to the government and looking for politicians and everything to step up, but before we go, we need to remember where our power comes from, where our source is. So that song right there is really, for me, it's changing and it's changing how I address everything because I'm going into situations knowing that I, the source is within me and I have the power based on the source. My plan was to just grow my production, grow, you know, saying stuff in that way. And, you know, that was just the plan. And then things kind of changed. Um, it walked into one meeting and one meeting turned into another meeting. So, hey, man, can you tap dance? No. Can you sing? Yeah, let's go. So, you know, it kind of happened. And um, so I didn't see it coming, proverbially see it coming, but I know that you know, all of our steps are ordered. So I knew that my steps were going to go up instead of down. And um, this is one of the next levels. So we're working this. We're going to rock this level until the next thing come up. The album is, I mean, they mad at me a little bit because they've been asking me that too. And, you know, the wonderful people up at RCA, I are looking at me and saying, hey, Phil, when do you want to put your album out? Because you ain't turned it in yet. So, you know, my... Um, um, co-producer, he's sitting right there, he's standing right there, me and him, uh, come over here, Phil, me and, uh, co-producer, Phil and Phil, <coughs> co-producer, he came What's in, <coughs> now this is Phil Hall, and I'm Phil Bryant, I'm the singer, and he, he does, you know, he does production with me, and so he came in and we talked to him and I said, look, man, we're going to do a crazy album, something that no one's ever done before, the, the shake the boundaries a little bit. You know, a lot of people look for an album to have 12 songs, the premise to be about a church song that can get spun on radio. Our, our goal was to say, we just want to make good music that people can not only relate to, but people will listen to for years to come. You know what I'm saying? Um, it, it will be relatable for the rest of your life, but I want you to be able to listen to my songs five years from now and say, listen, this was an amazing album. It was put together just for people that want to hear music. So we have no idea when the record is coming out. I'm not going to lie, but they're telling me I have to have it out top of the year. I got to turn it in here. So we're saying top of the year, but y'all heard it first. Um, gospel goodies.